Here are seven things to do when you hit level 30. We discovered that rerunning General Assembly, the final mission in the game, drops the same amount of superior gear as the first time you do it, so you can rerun that to your heart's content as soon as you hit level 30. Daily hard modes, you can queue for as soon as you hit level 30 as well, since gear isn't really a requirement for that. Your daily challenge missions should be next in your queue, but are very difficult. Some missions are easier than others. For example, I was able to complete the Lexington Event Center on my first day at 30, but struggled with the Russian Consulate even after I was pretty well geared. Take abilities that benefit your group as opposed to yourself in challenge mode, especially when you aren't that geared. After you've completed your daily missions, it's time to head into the Dark Zone, which despite what you've heard and what the name would imply, really isn't that dangerous. Stay in DZ01 and 02 and farm mobs to your heart's content. The goal here is to hit DZ level 30 and 50 to unlock the ability to purchase gear with the Phoenix credits you've earned from your dailies. Enemies get harder and higher level the further north you go, but provide little more experience for how incredibly difficult they become, so sticking to the southern regions makes sense for now. The three aforementioned activities make up the brunt of your daily grind for now, but there are still a few things you'll need to do now that you're 30. Recalibrating your eye level 31 gear that rolled the wrong primary attribute is worth your time and money. So, for instance, let's say you get gloves with electronics on it, but you need firearms to hit a requirement for a talent on your weapon. Go to the recalibration station in your base of operations and change the primary attribute for a modest fee. Purchasing named gear allows you total control over your early endgame progression, and while crafting seems to have the most legs, you won't need to fiddle around with worrying about random stats and talent rolls if you purchase named high end gear from various vendors. Finally, purchasing blueprints and crafting is the progression system with the longest legs and biggest payout, but as the talents and rolls you get on the gear are random, you'll need to invest some time and resources to see a payout. For all things the division, keep it right here on IGN.